Ever wondered how a machine learns to categorize or separate different classes of data? Welcome to the fascinating world of machine learning, where concepts like Fisher's linear discriminant play an essential role. Fisher's linear discriminant, named after the statistician Ronald Fisher, is a method used in pattern recognition, machine learning, and statistics to find a linear combination of features. This linear combination then separates or discriminates between two or more classes of objects or events. Imagine you have two types of fruits, apples and oranges, each with a different size and color. Fisher's linear discriminant would help you find a rule that separates these fruits based on these features. But how does Fisher's linear discriminant do this? First, calculate the mean vectors for the different classes in your data. In our fruit example, this would mean finding the average size and color for both the apples and oranges. Next, calculate the within-class scatter matrix, which measures the variance within each class. In simpler terms, it measures how spread out the apples are from the average apple and how spread out the oranges are from the average orange. After that, calculate the between-class scatter matrix, which measures the variance between the different class means. It's a measure of how different the average apple is from the average orange. Finally, calculate the Fisher's linear discriminant. This is where the magic happens. The formula for Fisher's linear discriminant uses both the within-class scatter matrix and the between-class scatter matrix to find the best linear combination of features that separates the classes. And voila, you now have a rule, a linear equation that can help you determine whether a new piece of fruit is an apple or an orange based on its size and color. To summarize, Fisher's linear discriminant is a powerful tool in machine learning and statistics that helps to discriminate or separate different classes of data. It does this by finding the best linear combination of features that maximizes the separation between the means of the classes while minimizing the variance within each class. The process involves four main steps, computing the mean vectors, computing the within-class scatter matrix, computing the between-class scatter matrix, and finally computing Fisher's linear discriminant. Remember, the beauty of Fisher's linear discriminant lies in its simplicity and its ability to reduce dimensionality while preserving as much of the class discriminatory information as possible. And there you have it, a step-by-step -step guide to understanding Fisher's linear discriminant. The next time you see a machine successfully categorizing data, remember the role that Fisher's linear discriminant likely played in that process.